Hello everybody. Thank you for joining the webinar. Today's presentation will be all about RTL's new integration software called RMSify and what it can do to help your business. Just to let you guys know, this session will be recorded and it will be available on the Retail Realm YouTube page. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to submit them into the questions panel and we could get to them at the end of the presentation. Today's presenter will be Matthew War, the support manager at Retail Technology Limited. And Matthew, if you could get us started, that would be great. Thank you very much, Jonathan. And uh, I'd like to thank you and Retail Realm for hosting this webinar. Uh, as Jonathan said, I'm here today to talk to you about our RMSFI add-in, which integrates your Microsoft Dynamics RMS system with the world's one of the world's premier hosted e-commerce providers, Shopify. So what exactly is RMSFI? We can see here on the left hand side you have your RMS system. This could be store operations, it could be headquarters. It's supplied and configured by an RMS partner and generally speaking it's supported by them too. On the right hand side we have Shopify. Shopify is not affiliated with Microsoft nor us here at Retail Technology Limited. It's an independent, full featured, hosted e-commerce provider. You can sign up an account and set up your e-commerce store and you are up and running in minutes. Shopify is currently home to more than 40,000 active web stores. But as we all know, it's no good running your brick and mortar store separately from your website. It will ultimately lead to you failing your customers because your systems aren't synchronized. What you need is for them to both seamlessly interact with each other, and that's where RMSify comes in. RMSify is just a piece of software which sits on your RMS system and talks to Shopify over the internet. And RMSify is the piece of software that we've developed here at RTL. So who are RTL? We're a UK-based company from Somerset in England, and we've been supplying and supporting EPOS solutions in the UK for 15 years. Initially, we offered systems which we developed in-house that progressed into reselling RMS about eight years ago. Our history is in shoe retailing, and our in-house system was designed specifically to manage a retail business selling these types of goods. And when RMS came along, we took the opportunity to use our experience in shoe fashion and shoe and fashion and create some now very popular add-ins for RMS, which make it easier for retailers to manage and report our matrix products. You may have heard of our RTL matrix, RTL reports, and RTL post utilities add-ins. But we don't only develop add-ins. We also support RMS in about 300 stores in the UK and Europe, so we know what retailers want and what they need. We've been developing with RMS ever since we've been selling it, so you know we've got the experience and pedigree you need when putting your trust in a software supplier. But unlike our other add-ins, RMS is suitable for any retail vertical using RMS, and we hope it will be of great interest to you all. When speaking with our own customers about e-commerce, a number of different topics of discussion cropped up regarding barriers of entry when it comes to trading online. The first one being that they didn't feel they needed e-commerce. The problem with that statement is if you look at the stats, they really do. Online sales are growing steeply and store sales are declining, and this trend is set to continue and, if anything, increase in velocity. Can a retailer really afford to watch their sales decline without replacing that revenue with online sales opportunities? Another reason is that e-commerce has traditionally been deemed too expensive. And we sympathize with many of them. Small retailers have small budgets and don't want to pay a lot of money up front or sign up for a three-year contract paying hundreds of pounds or dollars a month, especially in a venture they weren't convinced they either needed nor would be successful. And this has been particularly pertinent during these times of austerity. E-commerce is also deemed as being too difficult. Retailers want to spend their time running their shops. They shouldn't need a computer science degree to know how to get up and running on the web store or learn complex code to modify how their store looks, as this problem typically leads, leads to needing them to spend even more money. Usually, cheap to run e-commerce providers aren't great as they don't talk to your in-store systems, and retailers don't have the time to double enter and make sure your inventory is kept up to date. They also take a long time to get set up and need a lot of red tape to be completed before you get started. And all in all, they deem it as being too risky a venture. However, RMSFI makes it possible to address a retailer's concerns over cost, difficulty, time consumption, and risk. So it's no longer a case of, why do we need e-commerce? By the end of this presentation, I hope you'll be asking, why shouldn't we have e-commerce? 
So I guess one of the questions you're probably asking is why use Shopify? Firstly, it's a hosted platform. This means you don't need to worry about your data, PCI compliance, or software updates. It's all managed for you. Furthermore, you can operate your web store entirely online using any web browser on any device. You don't even need to be in the office. As I've already mentioned, according to my last set of stats, Shopify boasts over 40,000 web stores. And that's an awful lot of happy users who've been using the software. So you know you can rely on it. It's low cost. You can get started from as low as $19 a month, and it's completely free for 14 days. Not to mention, you can cancel it at any time you like. So you can actually get started using it for two weeks and pay absolutely nothing with no risk. But just because it's low cost doesn't mean you're missing out on essential e-commerce features. It's fully SEO friendly, standards compliant, and has a great discounting engine, and integrates with all of your usual payment gateways. But more than that, it's got an amazing app store, which will extend the power and capabilities of your site with tools such as email marketing, shopper reviews, and shopping feed integrations. And if you can't find what you want, they have a great API and developer community, so you can hire people at very reasonable rates to do what you need them to do. One of the main areas people look at when choosing an e-commerce site, both as a retailer and a consumer, is how the site looks and feels. Shopify has a great theme store where you can choose the theme to apply to your web store. Many of them are free, but typically cost no more than only a, hundred, a couple of hundred of dollars. Significantly less than you can expect to pay with other designers. And let's have a look at some examples. This example is a UK-based footwear customer, and this was based on a completely free template. And the retailers actually modified this template using the simple WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get tools, to allow them to pick colors, fonts, and different elements like that. This example is a South African retailer, and they installed RMSify independently, and managed their installation completely by themselves. They have very minimal contact with us. It's easy to modify your templates yourself too. All you need to do is browse the bustling theme store, as is demonstrated in the screen, making use of the filters they have in order to help you find something suitable. You can also see interactive demos of all of them. The important fact to consider when choosing one of these themes is the layout and features. The colors, fonts, and logos are all very easily modified. Then you just pick and pay for it, or don't pay if you choose a free one. It's then installed to your store in seconds. Any theme you choose will have a range of options, which you can change colors, fonts, and images for without needing to know any code. It's easy enough for anyone to customize the look and feel of their web store in just a few clicks. But if you do know a bit of code or have access to some expertise, Shopify also have a fully documented and supported markup language, which is easy for any designer to understand in order to make tweaks to your existing template, or even design you a whole new theme from the ground up. The theme and design capabilities in Shopify really are suitable and customizable for retailers of any size or budget. Furthermore, the majority of themes you access from the theme store are called responsibly themed. This means they are mobile friendly, and your web store can have a mobile front end for no additional cost. Speaking of mobile, you can get a free app from Shopify to help you as a retailer see the performance of your store and track order processes, which is great for customer service as you get notified of an order wherever you are. Perhaps the greatest asset that the Shopify has, though, is its partner network. Thousands of designers and developers participate in the Shopify ecosystem, and they have a superb forum to help retailers and partners to understand more about Shopify. They also have an expert directory, so you can get in touch with people local to you to execute special customizations. And you can use that to your benefit and obtain multiple quotes for your change requirements. You no longer have to be tied into one company to deal with your web store, and you can get the right people for the right task for the right price. So you have RMS, and you have this incredible low-cost e-commerce platform. So where does RMSify fit in? Well, as I've already explained, RMSify is a software developed by RTL and communicates data between RMS and Shopify. At its core is a powerful, easy-to-use product synchronization application. This takes the data you have in RMS and uploads it in order to create your web products in Shopify directly with no middleware. It also downloads your Shopify web orders and lets you process them through the RMS POS in a way your cashiers already know and understand. It can automatically keep your inventory levels up to date on a scheduled basis. 
and we have some great new data management tools which add a tremendous amount of value to the application. They make it easy to make large and small scale changes to your products and include the ability to create custom fields in RMS to really extend the RMS database and give it unlimited potential. Furthermore, you can now run as many different Shopify web stores as you like from the same RMS database, giving you a true multi-channel experience. So, let's take a look at some of our key features. And firstly, the product synchronization. As you would expect, RMSify creates and updates the data you have in Shopify with the data you have in RMS. Simply make sure your item is set as a web item in its RMS properties and it will upload it to your web store. RMSify has an incredibly flexible field mapping system, so you can choose which fields in RMS are uploaded to which fields in Shopify. And this includes any data you may have in any custom fields which you've created using the application. As you can see, you can assign different field mappings for standard items and matrix items, and all you need to do is use the drop-down boxes to choose an RMS field to map to the relevant Shopify field. All the main attributes you'd expect are available in the drop-downs, and the selling price field and any price-related fields only display price or membership fields from RMS. It really is designed to make it as easy as possible for you to tailor your product creation on your web store. One request we kept getting from apparel retailers was that they wanted their products to appear on the web displaying a single product of each color dimension attribute, while still maintaining one matrix item in RMS. It's a great feature we've released in the most recent version. Here we can see a matrix product with two color dimensions in RMS, and on the right hand side we can see it in Shopify. It's created two completely independent products, one for each of the colors listed in the RMS dimension one list. The other great thing we can do with RMS is adhere to its sale pricing policies. RMS makes use of sale price and sale periods by start and end dates in order to automatically sell products at a lower price through the point of sale. If you synchronize your data to Shopify on a day that falls within one of those sale periods and the relevant option is enabled, RMSify will upload the RMS sale price to the product in Shopify. You can see it applies a great little promotional markup to the product so the customer knows they're getting a better deal than they would normally. When you synchronize data with Shopify after the sale period, RMSify will of course automatically set the selling price back to its original value for you. Another key feature to discuss is the processing of your web orders. Firstly, it's launched through a custom POS button, and if you are using RMS Feature Pack 2, this can also be embedded as part of a task pad, so it's a process your cashiers will be familiar with. The screen is nice and easy to use. Simply select a web order and either print a pick list or press the complete order button to load it into the POS. Once it's open for the first time, it will automatically check for and download orders into RMS and notify you on the screen when one arrives. Shopify will also send you an email notifying you of the order, and if you're using their mobile app, ping your notification to your mobile device. When it downloads the web orders, it also marks any items purchased online as committed. So if RMS is configured correctly, you can prevent cashiers from selling items which have already been sold through the web store. You can print picking lists to either a Windows printer or your OPOS printer in RMS, so your cashiers can go and retrieve the goods which need to be dispatched. And when you complete the order through the POS, it will automatically do everything it needs to on Shopify, which in turn sends a shipping notification email to your customer to let them know their order has been processed and is on the way. What you can now also do is enter a shipping number during the completion process, so your customer can track their delivery through your courier company if necessary. Another great new feature we've introduced is the multiple web stores feature. Now, RMSify can be, as, can be linked to as many different Shopify stores as you like, all through the same RMS database. Not only that, but you can sell entirely different products on each web store using our brand new web item filter. This means you can potentially have independently branded web stores for you to sell products by certain suppliers, departments, or categories, or in fact, a combination of any of them. We handle this through our easy-to-use web item filter. 
The tabbed interface makes it super easy to split out your data. Simply choose a tab which represents a filter field and move the attributes such as the suppliers between the use and do not use list. With this tool you can build a powerful and incredibly granular subset of products to apply to each web store that you may want to have configured. And at the point of sale, cashiers don't need to know which web store the order came from. At the pause, it views all orders as equal and takes care of exactly which store's order it's fulfilling in the background. So you can add as many web stores as you like and your staff don't need to worry about which orders they are processing for which web store. The next great feature I want to talk to you about is custom fields. RMS is extremely limited when it comes to the amount of data you can store for your items and this can be really restrictive when grooming your products to be ready for the web. With RMSify you can add an unlimited number of custom fields to really extend the power of your RMS database. You can add short or long text fields to give yourselves even more room for fancier product titles or web descriptions or you can define your own price fields if you want to maintain a separate web price. RMSify also allows you to add as many pictures to your RMS items as you like and they'll all get uploaded to Shopify. As can the data from any other custom field through the easy to use field mappings. But of course, it's all very well having these custom fields, but how do you populate them with data? And that leads me on to the next key feature, Quick Editor. Quick Editor is a tool that begun its life in our, our own in-house system that we developed over 14 years ago. We subsequently redeveloped it for use with RMS and included it in our RTL matrix add-in. Now we've ported it to RMS fine and made it compatible for any vertical market as it now supports standard items. It's an Excel style grid interface which helps you make quick changes either on a small or a large scale. And you can use some great features to manipulate your data in a variety of different ways. The filter on the left helps you narrow down the data you're manipulating and you even have a search string box to help you immediately hone in on the products you're interested in. Just type in part of the item name and Quick Edit will find it. You can use copy and paste to apply changes across any cells you select. As you can see it's been applied in the bin location column. And you can even choose to apply a change to a whole matrix, dimension or whole column of filtered items if you wish to using the buttons in the top right hand corner. We also have a great formula tool which can perform rapid calculations on your pricing fields. For example, if I had a custom web price field, I can use the formula to set the value of that to be price, which is listed as the base price, and then subtract 10% from the normal RMS retail price field. I can also apply rounding options. The formula can then be applied to the whole column, meaning you've just put all of your web items on sale at 10% in a matter of seconds. In addition to being able to manipulate monetary and numerical data with formulas, we've also got some great text functions, which are ideal for copying and manipulating data you have in an RMS field, but want to apply to a custom field. In this example, I've created a custom vendor field because I might want the names of my vendor in Shopify to be slightly different to my supplier name in RMS. This text function will overwrite the data in the vendor field with the item's corresponding supplier value. I can then make small changes to my vendors on a more individual basis to make them a bit more web friendly. I can then use things like find and replace to replace a string such as blue yonder and replace it with either a custom entered value or a value from another field. The potential really is staggering and it makes it really quick to perform tasks that were previously incredibly time consuming. And because quick editing can be used for non-web products, it's these sorts of benefits that make RMS for even better value as you can manage, use it to manage all of your RMS data. So, what else do you get with RMSify? Firstly, it's remarkably quick to get up and running. You can sign up a Shopify store in less than 5 minutes and install RMSify to RMS in less than 10. Because you install it through the Shopify app store, you don't even need to get in touch with us. Just run and install it and you can use it immediately. You get 30 days completely free usage of RMSify. All the billing is, is performed by Shopify, so if you don't want to continue using RMSify, just uninstall the app from your web store before that period ends and you'll not be charged a penny. You'll always be on the latest version with our automatic update system. Whenever we find a bug, we don't hang around. We fix it and release it normally within a few days. 
we have comprehensive user guides to help you get started and delve deep into all the features and functions RMSFI has to offer. And you can teach yourself to use RMSFI with our fantastic training videos, which are in bite-sized key functional areas so you can learn a little at a time without going screen blind. And finally, you get free support installing the software. If you have problems getting the app installed and communicating with your web store, then we are here to help. We believe that the training videos and user guides can deliver you all the information you need. However, if you want dedicated training and support, we can arrange that separately, either with ourselves or hopefully through a local partner. So the next logical question is, how much will it cost me? And this is where we wanted to keep it really simple. It's only $99 per month per web store that you're synchronizing with. There is absolutely nothing to pay up front at all, unless you want some dedicated training or special configuration package. And of course, this is in addition to your Shopify costs, which can be as low or as high as is appropriate for your business and dependent on template chosen and apps you decide to install. Your $99 per month includes all the functionality of RMSFI with no catches, and as I've already said, you can cancel at any time. For you partners out there, I'm sure you're keen to learn what opportunities there are for you to resell this add-in. Well, we don't operate a partner scheme directly, but we do support the Shopify partner scheme. You can sign up a partner account for free, and with that account, you can create as many demonstration or test stores as you need to, all from within their portal in seconds. With Shopify, you get a 20% lifetime revenue share from your customer. So all the money a retailer pays to Shopify from their, shop, from their Shopify subscription to app payments such as RMSFI and even theme purchases, you receive a 20% commission. And that's for the lifetime of the customer account. If you have a Shopify partner account, we can give you access to our special partner version of RMSFI, which is completely free of charge. So you can install it on all of your test and demo stores. You can, of course, offer consultancy services to your clients, and you can offer professional services for them too, from installation to training to SEO. The scope is limitless. So let's revisit our e-commerce challenge slide from earlier. Is too expensive? Is it really that expensive? Not with RMS of buying Shopify. Is it too difficult? Not at all. Shopify makes e-commerce really easy, and by integrating with RMSFI, it really is a breeze. Is it too time-consuming? It doesn't have to be. You can be up and running in minutes and trading online in under an hour if you already have a payment gateway. Is it too risky? Well, with, as it's free for 14 days with Shopify and 30 days free usage of RMS, with no contracts, you have absolutely nothing to lose. E-commerce is a growing trend which is likely to continue in the face of falling store footfall. So, when you're asked, do you really need e-commerce, with Shopify and RMSify, you really can't afford not to. And that concludes the webinar. I'd like to take this opportunity to answer any questions you have. Okay, Matt, thank you. Very well done. First question is, how does it work in HQ? Uh, really, really simple. Um, you install the application at uh, headquarters on the headquarters database, and that manages all of your product synchronization. And you also install uh, the same application at store level on one of your store databases. And uh, it processes the web orders through that web store. Um, and that's it. It's the same installer. It's only five megabytes to download, and, and it integrates instantly. So really, very, very, very straightforward. And of course, it's fully documented as well. Okay. Next question. How are taxes handled? The way taxes get handled is uh, through Shopify, actually. Um, Shopify uh, have a location-based taxation system, so it chooses exactly what, uh, what tax the customer is deemed to pay, uh, depending on where they're shipping the goods to. And what will happen is RMSify, if you don't have that sales tax set up in your system in the United States, um, it will then create that sales tax for you uh, and make sure that uh, the right sales tax goes through at the point of sale. Okay. 
Next question is, how do we get a partner RMSify? Uh, you can just ask me. Um, you can see we've got our support email address at the, uh, at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, alternatively, you can reach me on Skype. My Skype name is RTLMATT, all one word, R-T-L-M-A-T-T. -T. You can speak to me there. Uh, my email address is matthew at rtl-mail.com. Uh, and I can give you everything you need to get started with this uh, and take you through some hand-holding and, uh, and get you up and running. Okay. So is Quick Editor a bit like NitroCell's PAM? Uh, very much so. Um, if, if you're familiar with using PAM, um, it's, it's very similar because it's based upon the same premise, which is using uh, using Excel in a data grid to be able to uh, to do it. And obviously, we've we've included that as part of our uh, our package, um, which we ported across from from one of our other add-ins. So yes, very much so. How does the tax amount come down to RMS? Is it a SKU slash line item, or does it come down as an item customer tax in RMS? Um, it actually comes down as an item tax in RMS. Um, so the, the way it will work is, yeah, because it's location-based, um, it, again, it works out based upon the shipping destination uh, and then loads it against the item tax in RMS. So that's how it calculates the sales taxes. So in Shopify, you have two options. You can either choose to, to list your items, including sales tax or excluding sales tax, and RMS if I behaves do not dynamically depending on how you've configured your Shopify store. So if you wanted to list your items, including sales tax, then RMS if I supports that. And if you wanted to list them excluding sales tax, it supports that too. So, um, and it, yeah, it will import it using uh, item taxes and sales taxes as, as opposed to customer taxes. Okay. Also, how is shipping handled? Um, shipping's handled as a line item. So what we do is we, we actually create a, a shipping item in the RMS database, which is a, a non-inventory item. Uh, what happens is, to, again, because Shopify uses destination-based uh, shipping charges, uh, it will download the relevant price depending on how you configure your shipping prices in Shopify. Um, it doesn't directly integrate with the, uh, with the shipping uh, functions within in RMS because they're two radically different models. Um, so we just decided that we'd, uh, we'd keep it simple, uh, make it easier for the user to understand. Uh, and as I mentioned, we, we also include the, the ability to include a tracking number now as well. So when you process the point of sale, you can enter the tracking number uh, that your courier ships for you, and that will be included in the part of the shop by order process. But that does bypass RMS. It doesn't record that in RMS anyway. If a customer exists in RMS and shops online, will the order be matched to their record in RMS or create a new customer record? It will match them. So it will look the customer up in RMS firstly based upon email address. And if it finds a matching email address, it will associate the transaction to that customer. If the email address doesn't exist, it will also do a quick look up on account number. But obviously, it's unlikely that, that, um, that that's going to match off. Um, and if it doesn't find a match for any of those, it will create a customer. Um, what will traditionally happen is if it's a new customer shopping online, it, it will create a customer with the shop by account number. Um, and then subsequently, when that customer hopefully continues to shop using your web store, um, the transaction history will get, uh, will get ported across as well. So uh, the moral of that is if the email address that exists in the customer database, it will match the two together. What version of RMS does RMSify work with? Uh, version two upwards. So any of the different um, any of the different flavors that you may have of RMS version two will work. It's not supported on version one point three, um, but it will work with RMS Service Pack two, three, Feature Pack one or two. It's, it's supported on all of those. Uh, it will run on any Windows operating system, including sixty four bit, uh, and it will work in, uh, with any uh, with any SQL server. Uh, edition that you might have. Does RMS Five support multiple price levels and customer options? Tax exemption, default discount levels. Um, it it doesn't. Shopify only supports one price, um, so you can either use you, you can either manage a, your, your prices within RMS and choose which price level you actually want to use. So what you could potentially do is say um, 
you could use our custom fields to create um, two or three different custom price levels. And if you decided at some point you wanted to then switch to use a different price level, all you would do is you change your field mapping to look at a different web price and resynchronize your data. And uh, Shopify would then use that price level instead. Uh, it doesn't do that on a customer level. It does it entirely at an item level. Uh, but yes, you can you can use price level A, B, C, MSRP, or any of our custom price fields to allow you to um, to allow you to list your products on Shopify with those prices. Are there any plans to add a shipping module similar to what ShipRush offers to handle shipping? Uh, that there's there's all sorts of different shipping integrations that Shopify have in their app store. Um, and you can actually uh, get them off of the shelf. I don't know whether ShipRush is one of them. Um, I suspect it probably is. Um, I believe they've got FedEx integration as well, but, uh, but don't quote me on that. Um, like I said, they've got a, a very popular app store where, where there's, there's lots and lots of different um, well, apps um, that, that will do various things for you. And that does include some shipping integration. So whilst the RMS device software doesn't handle that module, um, Shop, Shopify with its API and its app store, it, it will have something there and if not then it is something that can be developed um, again either through a, one of the experts on Shopify or yourselves or you know, you know, how do you want to handle that. Okay. If a customer exists in RMS and shops online, will the order be matched to their record in RMS or create a new customer record? Uh, yeah, I think we've we've gone through that one once, um, but yes, it it will it will look based upon the email address, and if the email address doesn't exist, it will check based upon account number, and if that doesn't exist, then it will create a new record. So that's how it looks. That's how it identifies the customers between the two systems. Okay, and one more is: Does RMSify support delayed capture for payment processing? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, Shopify supports delayed capture, so you can configure your Shopify web store to pre-authorize the, the card to the value of the order without actually taking the payment at that stage. And then what will happen is if that's configured, then, for example, if you'd order two products but only one could be shipped, then when you ship that product, it will only actually uh, capture the payment for the, for the product that you shipped and not the, the, the total value of the order, as you wouldn't be able to fulfill it. And then a question about gift cards. Does it support RMS gift cards or any third-party solutions? Um, as it stands at the moment, uh, no. Um, there's certainly scope for it, um, largely with uh, a third-party provider, I have to say. Um, something like VLoyal would be, uh, would be integratable, as, as VLoyal also have an API, so you could link Shopify with VLoyal, um, and that in turn gets imported into RMS. So, um, Whilst Shopify itself doesn't have a gift card, um, a gift card element to it, um, but yes, from using the API and, and you know doing some integration work, then it would be possible to to certainly to sell gift cards through through Shopify, which would then be activated in a third party provider um, and subsequently be available in RMS. But so. Yes, yeah, Shopify will allow that. I don't think there's anything out there at the moment that will, that will do that, um, but I have to check the App Store. I can research that and get back to, to people on an individual basis for these things. That helps. Yeah, if you guys also, you guys feel free to submit these questions offline if they haven't been answered to your, to how you would like them to be. I'm sure Matt will get right back to you. Absolutely. The email address is on the, is on the screen there. Um, and like I said, my personal email address is Matthew, with two T's, M-A-T-T-H-E-W, at rtlvestmail.com. And I'd be delighted to answer any of your questions offline. Um, talk to you in more detail. Arrange a demonstration uh, on your system. To set you up with a test store. You know, I'm happy to go through any of those uh, any of those procedures with you, and we can make arrangements to do that. Just uh, drop me a drop me a line. All right, everyone. I think that's going to conclude the webinar on behalf of Retail Realm and Retail Technology Limited. I just want to thank Matthew for a great presentation.